How's it going guys? Welcome to Caveman Customs. I'm Zach. I'm Derry. And today we have for y'all a beautiful classic. We have a 1976 Plymouth Valley. Now we bought this thing sight unseen. Uh, wasn't really sure, had a couple photos of it here and there. Nothing major, the guy was very um, undescriptive. So um, we're gonna give you guys a walk around of the vehicle and kind of see what we kind of found upon ourselves in the night of buying it. Um, we actually had to tow it in to our buddy's garage due to just undrivability completely. We were gonna attempt to drive it the 130 miles home, but it was just impossible. So we had it towed to our buddy's shop. We were going to make it drivable, we hope, to uh, try to make it another 100-ish uh, miles home. So look forward to this, guys, and hope y'all enjoy this video. So let's go ahead and take the trip back here. Well, let's try and open this thing. Oh, well, turns out somebody don't use the old lock pick set on this thing. I'm gonna see if I can get this old flathead screwdriver in there. We're gonna see if we can't pop this thing up and see if there's any major engine components or anything else like that in there. All right, guys. So, looks like somebody done did the old battery relocate back here to the trunk. They might have been making a drag car out of this thing. So, right here we got some old body panel tape. Looks like we got a factory steering unit right here. And then through here we got a good old base coat. We got some sand in this. We got some old catalysts right there. We got all the makes to make this thing shine once again. Got an old water pump back here. That is not a good sign. We're going to see if this thing will pop any coolant through this thing. Let's look at this right here. Mid temper reducer. Oh, this thing's full right here. We got some mid temp producer right here. I don't know what color that is. And then right here, guys, this is the biggest issue of them all. Looks like we got a whole wiring harness back here in the trunk amongst all this other junk. So if that's the case, well, we're gonna have a hard time getting this thing running, getting this thing going. I don't even know if we're going to be able to see the speed that we're going if we do get this thing running. This is the whole wiring harness from the engine bay back to the trunk. Oh, right there we got a good old coolant jug. We're going to go ahead and throw that back there. Oh, look at this right here. Oh, we got a set of old shears. That don't serve no purpose to us. All right, well, let's keep on rolling, guys. <clears throat> see if we can now, get these back doors open. Now, she got a little bit of body work done here. A little rough check her out. She's a little rough. Well, seems to be uh, a mess. Well, let's, um, let's see how much rust we have to roll. Yeah, she's a bit of... She's a bit checker. Holy. She's a bit holy. Um, doors a little seized up. But overall, not well. Hold on now. Looks like somebody's uh, got the old Rush Repair 4000 put in. <clears throat> Looks like a couple extra holes and uh, no um, cluster or anything. We got um, oil pressure. That's one one up. <clears throat> But hey, now the glass is in. Well, maybe phenomenal shape. Glass is in phenomenal shape. Now we did have to have new treads put on this thing just because they would sit so long which is god awful. 
But the old man had attempted to um, tinker a little bit here and there with it, and um, he said it's got too old, and was just gonna let it sit around and rot its life away. So we've had to um, try our best at his house to try to make it run, but it was just way too far gone. We were unaware of the harness issue. Um, as you can see, we've um, ran a new, <clears throat> sorry about that guys, uh, we ran a new um, power line and stuff like that, and put a new carburetor on it, and we're going to, um, we're going to check over the oil and everything and make sure it's good before we try to attempt to bust her off and make sure she runs. So guys, let's just cross our fingers and hope for the best that we can get out of our buddy's garage today. All right, guys. So what we're going to do here today, we're going to take some coolant. We're going to put her in the old rage air. We're going to see if this battery has anything to her. We've got an old jump pack box hooked up to her in the rear. We're going to see if she spins over doing anything like that. we got some coolant we're going to try and put in her to see if she holds any of it. So, if y'all would, just hold on with me for a second. I'm going to go grab this coolant, see if she holds it. Then we're going to give her a old, get a little spin over and see if she takes it. Now, whether that is that she takes it, whether it's up to me and you to get this thing to take it, we're going to see what she does, boys. Let's go grab this coolant real quick. So we got this oil drained out of this thing. So we're gonna go back to some of that old Rotella 1540. This thing's got all the vitamins and minerals that this old Slant 6 is gonna need. So let's go ahead and pour this thing in here. We're gonna work on getting this Wix oil filter in here as we pour this old 1540 in this old thing. We're gonna see if we can't get her purring like her previous days. Oh, we spilled a little bit. We spilled about a little bit over a quarter of a quart. You know, that's okay. She don't need all that oil to run me anyway, boys. Yes, sir. Yep. Here we go. Yep, throw that off to the side. Where got this drain plug at, buddy? Oh, the old cap? The old cap. Where's she at? She's Long big and orange. Spill clap. Come on now. We ain't even got a radiator cap for this thing. Nah, radi uh, radiator cap's in the back. In the back? Yep, sitting on the bucket. <laughs> that ain't no good, boys. Well, we're gonna give her this old, uh, good old Lucas uh, transmission rebuild in a bottle. Just in case. Just in case. That little uh, 
transmission tubes a little loose. She shall be all right. She's a bit thick. <clears throat> Alrighty. Yep, throw that off to the sidelines. You know, trash her can, we'll pick that up later. Yep. Alright, grab this old knife off top of that thing. We're going to see. This good old girl is going to start up for us. Let's get some of that good old laughing gas in here. Just let me know. Alright, man. We're going to. Uh, not completely recommended, boys, but you know, hey. Alright. Let's see if she'll turn over. She's going to circulate a little bit of something when she's stuck. Oh, hold on. Now she's stuck. Okay, we got her. All right. Well, well yeah. let's see. Hold on one second, man. We'll make sure we got all this good. Yep. All right. Got no leaks. Oh, 
out of our estimates with the guy, we're talking this thing set for almost 17 years. And you see it's 17 year ago special. Craigslist rebuild. You know, just this prime. Like I said he's the most indestructible engines out there. starting to move a little bit of coolant as well. Got a couple air bubbles working their way out. That's not a half bad running machine. 17 years later. Yep, she barely got any blow by either. We make it, boys. Fingers crossed.
All right, guys. So we made it. The car hit down phenomenally. <laughs> it has its hiccups. It has its issues, but it made it. It is um, back in the field as of right now. Um, we will um, see if we can do some digging and maybe find some other relevant parts for it. Um, but at this point, hey, it, it made it. It done what it was supposed to do. It got the job done. Did not overheat. Kept oil pressure, never shut off, nothing. It was just a phenomenal car. Um, we did have a, uh, <clears throat> I assumed water leak, but um, kind of find out it was just built up water in the back floor pan. So that was a saving grace for us. But um, now guys, this is our first video. Give us a break on some of the editing and things like that. We will uh, we'll get better with time. Um, but we do have some upcoming stuff coming for y'all. Um, <clears throat> it's going to be really, I think it'll hit a lot of people at home and stuff and things like that. And might be a little more touchy, but it's, it's going to be pretty cool, guys, for you to guys sit down and watch it. But as for now, guys, me and Derry are signing off. Y'all have a great and wonderful day. Enjoy. And by the way, click that like, subscribe, and follow button. I promise you guys, we'll be giving you the best content we can. Y'all have a good one. Hasta luego.